Yeah, the, that's the thing. Like, the right wing is angry. Like, imagine this world, right? Like, okay. Like, I'm going to make this a little spin-off segment. Imagine this world. Like, what is the left wing angry about, right? Like, I know this has been done before, but I'm doing it again. The left wing is angry about police forces that overreach their authority. Um, people that don't have, like, access to a fair legal counsel, a fair jury by their peers, right? Uh, what is the left upset about? They're upset about cops extrajudicially murdering people, especially people that are running away from them. What are left wingers uh, mad about? Homelessness. Like, why do people have homelessness? Um, why is homelessness a thing when we have empty hotels all the time? What is the left wing mad about? Oh, the climate's changing and it's going to cause a lot of areas on the planet Earth to be uninhabitable. What is the left uh, upset about? Oh, people are starving and we need access to food and health care. People are sick and we need access to health care. Now, right? What is the right wing mad about? They're mad about, like, wokeism. What does that mean? I don't know. They're mad about critical race theory. What is critical race theory? It's a college class that talks about, you know, I don't know, maybe white people aren't the greatest thing in the world historically, right? And it just has, like, other race perspectives on uh, history, right? But it's a college class. But they're mad about that. even though, And they're mad about college in general, Right? What is the right wing mad about? They're mad about pronouns, like a, a simple form of speech. Like, like we use pronouns almost in every sentence. I just used a couple, right? They're mad about pronouns, right? What is the right wing mad about? They're mad about Donald Trump having, like, the law and order guy having to face law and order. That's what they're mad about. What, it, what it, like, it, it, like, isn't that insane? Like, like, imagine, like, again, I'm talking about this guy who went to the FBI office in Ohio and committed suicide by cop. Like, imagine what has to go through your mind. I really, like, I need, like, this is a thought experiment. Like, is there any cause you're willing to die for? Personally, I would say I'm willing to die for a couple of political uh, causes, right? But imagine... You're willing to die for the orange man because he got raided by the FBI? Like, imagine you actually get so triggered. And that's what I need people to understand. It's a hair trigger with these right wingers, right? They will pop off literally at any moment, okay? They spend their entire time being angry online at the fact that kids aren't told that being gay is a sin and that gay people should die, right? That angers them. They spend their whole time online in these like echo chamber bubbles where they're just yelling about Democrats all day. Like Joe Biden's a super communist, you know, like all that kind of shit, right? And so anything could happen in any moment. It's that hair trigger and they're going to go out there and commit suicide by cop doing something fucking stupid over the fucking orange man, right? Like the right wing has created like their own world. Like it is completely separate from reality, right? Where, like, Democrats are all super communists and they all want to throw every Republican in jail. And it's just like, when you live in that world and you think that, oh my God, Nancy Pelosi's coming for my guns, right? Like, maybe you will commit suicide by cop over the orange man getting raided and he doesn't even know your name. Like, I, like that's the thing with these right wingers is they're all insane. Like, not only one, they're insane. They belong in mental asylums. Two, they're dumb. They're just stupid, right? Like that's being insane and being dumb are two different things. I know they're often correlated, right? But there's a lot of really intelligent people that can develop, you know, insanity. They can, you know, develop, you know, certain medical conditions or mental conditions, you know, delirium, uh, schizophrenia, psychosis, right? But they're, you know, overall pretty intelligent people. You know, a lot of, you know, like, you know, authors that get dementia later in their years, right? They're technically insane, but that doesn't make them stupid, right? So I need people to understand those, those are two different axes, right? But combine insanity with dumb fuckery, like Republicans, right wingers, they're dumb as fuck, right? Like the average IQ of the right wing is like 30, right? Like it's like, and that's being generous, like that's being fucking generous, right? But like, I, like, so you combine insanity with fucking stupid shit, right? So they're all like angry and mad over fictional things, 
right? Oh no, there's a black person sitting in the restaurant. I'm so mad. Oh, there's a god dang woman and she's wearing something that makes me horny, but that's bad because she needs to be protecting herself for Jesus. Right? Like, you know, these people create these weird fucking things in their brains and they get really angry about them. And all it takes is something like, oh, Trump got it raided by the FBI. Well, it's time to go kill myself. Suicide by cop. You know, like that guy who fucking blew his brains out at the U.S. Capitol. I don't know if that's confirmed to be a Trumper yet. Right? But like, like I... <laughs> Look at Kyle Rittenhouse. Like, Kyle Rittenhouse went out there and shot and killed two people. Why? Because the black people are rotting looting. All right, do you have a personal stake in these businesses that are getting burned to the ground? No. Do you, uh, like, know anybody involved in these? Bi no. Do you, like, but I'm going to go there and bring my gun and engage in war. For what? For property? <laughs> So that a gas station, like, doesn't need to collect its insurance money? Like, you know, but, but I, like, they're on this, like, this meat train. Like, they're gassing themselves up and they're just, they're waiting for any moment for that fucking shit to snap. And that's what it, we're dealing with. We're dealing with, and I need you to understand, it's millions of these motherfuckers. Millions of them. This isn't, like, thousands. This isn't hundreds. This isn't dozens. There are millions and millions of these people. Right? Millions, millions, like a dozens of millions of these people, right? That live in another world. They want to kill people for fighting for justice. They want to kill people for just being transgender. They want to kill people for just being gay. They want to kill people for just being black and around kids or something. Like, oh, there's a black kid in my class. Let's get the guns, right? Like, I, they are insane. And that's what we're dealing with, right? And they're all over the place. It's not like they're just concentrated in, like, Nebraska. It's not like they're just concentrated in, like, fucking Texas. They are literally all over the place. There are sleeper cells of unstable lunatics that are dumb as fuck all over the fucking country. And at any moment, and a lot of them have military training, right? Because what do stupid fucking people do when they're bored? They go join the military, right? That's one of the major things that right-wingers do. They go join the military. They get military training for their stupid fucking shit. They kill a bunch of brown people overseas and rape their fucking wives and, you know, murder their children. You ever seen these Iraq war crimes that the American troops committed? Jesus fucking Christ. You see the shit that they do to kids in Afghanistan? My fucking God, right? So they join the fucking military. Like that guy that went to the FBI office was a military guy, right? They've got military training. They're dumb as fuck. They don't know how to fucking like socialize and they're insane and that is a fucking serious problem and they're everywhere. They're in New York. They're in Virginia. They're in fucking, you know, in Michigan. They try to kidnap the fucking governor, right? These people are insane. They're insane and they're dumb and that's a powerful combo. That is a powerful combo. If someone is so fucking stupid that they're willing to do whatever the orange man says and they're insane enough to believe that it's true and they're insane enough to go out and do those things, that's how you get January 6th. So anyway, you know, I don't want to be a doomer, um, but Civil War II coming soon to theaters near you? And I mean that in the sense that there's going to be like another theater mass shooting. Remember those? Those don't happen too much anymore because of the pandemic. I don't go to movie theaters, but yeah. Anyway, that's that's a joke about mass shootings. So there you got a little levity for you. Um, 